What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. As you can see, we're not in our traditional studio, so a little bit of a different video for you guys today, but I did want to let you guys know iOS 17 Beta 2 is now out. Comes a little over two weeks after Beta 1 came out, and we're hoping for a ton of improvements here. Obviously, battery life has been pretty abysmal, notification issues, and I'm just hoping this will cool down the phone in general. Um, we know by now iPhones do not handle heat management well at all, and Beta 1 was atrociously bad for the phone overheating and just not working as it should. So having said that, let's go ahead and take a look at the build quality, the build number here, and see if we see any new features. I'm not expecting too much, just really hoping for more stability improvements. Let's go. All right, so as you guys can see, iOS 17 Beta 2 has finished installing, and I can tell you right off the bat, everything is a lot more responsive. It's filling out, the keyboard's actually filling in as it needs to. I had an issue with that on iOS 17 Beta 1. But jumping right into it, going into settings, about, and version number, you can see Beta 2 has a new version number of 21A5268H. So the H is indicative that it is still not close to a regular general release, as we would assume. Obviously, this isn't gonna be out till about September, but we are still working our way backwards, forwards in the alphabet, coming to a more stable release. This should be the last beta until the public beta arrives with Beta 3 next month, probably in another two, two and a half weeks or so. So stay tuned for that if you are in the developer program or if you just are subscribed to the public betas, that will be ready for you soon. So beyond that, if you actually jump in, you can see there is a new launch screen here for the betas themselves. It is a much nicer software interface than it was prior. You can obviously jump in as you did prior to see the developer information for what's new in each kit. And also that came out today was the first Vision OS uh, SDK unit. Beyond that, you can see the beta.apple.com link now as well. You can show you that the public betas for 17 are coming, et cetera, et cetera. What you don't see on this page anymore are the actual links to go directly into what is new in beta 2 to see what was fixed and what was not. So for that, you'll have to actually jump into Safari and having went to that link prior, you can see where it would be, but it's not coming in since we're not logged in. Um, again, there was the traditional song and dance about a lot of bugs still in this beta. Specific ones can be found at that link. Beyond that, one huge improvement that we've seen already is battery life. It has not dropped at all since this beta has been installed. What we did have issues with with beta one was the phone getting super hot and not very easily uh, dispersing that heat. We know how bad, like I said, that iOS and iPhones in general just do not manage heat well. That was really on display in beta one. Happy to say that on beta two, we don't have those issues. So we're gonna be doing a deeper dive in the next couple of days to see if we find any new feature wise, but nothing in settings stood out. I'm assuming this is more of a bug improvement relief just because of how bad they were prior. So yeah, download it if you want. We have a video on our channel. If you are not a paid developer, how you can install these for free. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.